Hey guys, how you doing? Let's immediately address the elephant in the room. Y'all see it, merch coming soon. Anyway, let's get into the video of today. Today we're gonna make bagels. They might be better than bagels and beans. And if you want to, you can place your orders down below in the comments. And also, let me know how I did it. You wanna know how I did it? I'm Cosito. Let's go! <laughs> Now let's start with the ingredients you need. For the bagels ingredients, you need salt, 500 grams of flour, preferably bread flour, but you can also use self-raising flour. However, bread flour would be perfect. Other than that, you'll need yeast, instant dried yeast, which we're gonna activate in lukewarm water. And the last ingredient, sugar, 20 grams of that, 300 20 milliliters of water lukewarm water to be exact now we'll move on to the ingredients you need for the toppings we're gonna use garlic flakes also poppy seeds and white sesame seeds we'll also be using garlic powder you can also use garlic flakes furthermore we'll move on to the end of the process the fillings so you'll need one tomato our cream cheese is lavage curry Oh, see? Set the salmon. Now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the real process of making bagels. Let's start by activating our yeast. Here we have the lukewarm water, the yeast, and the sugar. We'll start by dumping the yeast in the lukewarm water, followed by the sugar. Then what you're gonna do is mix it. After you have thoroughly mixed it, you can leave it and let it activate for 10 minutes. Given that we have a couple of minutes for the yeast to activate, why don't you go and hit that subscribe button? We'll wait for you. It helps out the channel a lot. With the yeast activated and you subscribing, now we're gonna make the bagels. After the yeast has activated, just mix it around a little bit more before using it. Then just grab a big bowl and in that big bowl, we're gonna add the 500 grams of flour followed by two teaspoons of salt. Lastly, to this mixture, we're gonna add the yeast. Hey kids, this is the moment you've been waiting for. We're gonna play with our food. Don't worry, mama ain't watching. Yes, just use your hands. It'll start off quite wet, but then it'll turn out into a shaggy dough. Following your playfulness, the dough will turn out like this. Don't worry if it's wet, do not add more flour. What you're gonna do is just knead it into a super silky smooth dough. Don't worry if it gets too messy. You can wash your hands later and also wash your hands first. So your kneading technique is just fold it in and then push it away from you and then fold it in again. After you have kneaded it for about 10 minutes or so, you can just form it into a ball and then put it into a bowl. You can use a regular bowl, but I'm being fancy and using a Benetton, which is made especially to let dough proof. For the proofing process, you're just gonna put clean film over it and then cover it with a towel and then let it proof for about one hour. Now, after that one hour, it looked exactly like this, all puffed up and ready to be cooked let's start by giving it that old tapa tapa to get it out of the banneton we're just gonna place our hands on top of it and turn it upside down note that if you use a normal bowl you should have just oiled that bowl before putting the ball in otherwise the ball wouldn't be so easy to remove from the bowl just to be sure at this stage you can flour your bench to prevent your dough to start sticking following that grab a dough cutter and start splitting your dough into six or eight pieces i split mine in six pieces just to guarantee that extra thick bagel so this is highly recommended okay let me show you the technique of rolling a bowl start making that bagel start by folding all the edges to the middle part and then pinching it to form a bowl on the bottom side follow along and do exactly what I'm doing as you're completely sure that all the edges are pinched together then you're gonna flip it now place your palm over the ball and start rotating it beneath your palm shaping it into a ball whoa this episode has a lot of ball ball movement in <laughs> As I'm done with the second ball, I will continue to, voila, magically they have rolled themselves. They have been through enough, so we're gonna place a towel over them and let them rest for 10 minutes. 
Now that they're rested, we're gonna put them through a massacre. Start by filling a bowl with some flour, then dip two fingers in the bowl of flour to get a hole through your dough. Then start pinching your dough with your thumb and your index finger. Then after you pinched a hole through the dough, you're gonna use your other index finger to make that hole larger. Just follow along with the video. Just roll it around just like this. Just be careful that you don't make the hole too large because we don't want donuts. We want bagels, if you know the difference. Now, after you've done this for all the bagels, you're gonna do this again just to solidify that hole of the bagel. Of the bagel, <coughs> hole of the bagel, that, that hole of the bagel. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So at this point, they'll come out looking like this. Now we're gonna move on to the first stage of cooking the bagels. You're gonna start by boiling some water. And in that boiling water, you're gonna drop your bagels for one minute on each side. So two minutes in total for every bagel. Try to be patient with this process and don't push all the bagels in a crowded pan. After the boiling process, you're gonna set them aside to cool down. Don't worry if they look all wrinkled up. So we're gonna make a topping that's similar to the everything bagel topping. Start with two teaspoons of poppy seeds, followed by a tablespoon of garlic flakes, then two teaspoons of your onion powder, and lastly, a tablespoon of sesame seeds. Also a pinch of salt. That's all the ingredients you need for the toppings. Now mix it. Before we add on the toppings to the bagels, we're gonna make an egg wash. What you're gonna do is break an egg in a bowl whisk it and then add some water to it just to make it quite liquidy okay finally let's top some bagels now grab a brush dip it in the egg wash and then brush it over the bagels after you're done brushing the bagels just drop the bagels in the mixture of your topping and swirl it around Lastly, we're gonna finally cook them off in a 200 degrees preheated oven for 20 minutes. And boom, they'll come out looking like this. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? Now before we taste, let's slice them open and see how good they look from the inside. Furthermore, we're gonna put some lavash kiri on top of that, followed by some salmon and also some tomatoes. Now we're ready, let's taste. These look and taste delicious. You should also try them out. I've never been so happy about bagels before. Yum. Now tell me, they were probably better than bagels and beans or at least up to par. Comment below and place your orders right there and also let me know how I went. And like the video if you have enjoyed and also check out the channel for more cool videos. Also, subscribe! This has been Cosito's Kitchen and showing you the difference between a chef and a cook. Take care guys. Peace.